A very pleasant and relaxing good morning to all, respected CEO, principal, teachers, and my dear friends. Today, we are going to conduct the assembly along with our most talented team members and supportive teachers. Today is a national day of peace. It is observed every year on 21st September all around the world. The UN General Assembly has declared this as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace. This year, it has been much clearer than ever that we are not each other's enemy. Rather, our common enemy is a tireless virus that threatens our health, security and very way of life. COVID-19 has thrown our world into turmoil and forcibly reminded us that what happens in one part of the planet can impact people everywhere. Nothing can be started without the remembrance of Almighty who created this world. Now I invite Aaron to lift our spirit with the prayer song. and our teachers and our students. May the school 
always be the home of school, wisdom, faith, and excellence. Help me meet to well and all community. Inspire me to do good and follow through. Kindly lead and bless us all the way. Amen. Pledge means an oath to fulfill our duties. So let's take a bow with Isa. So write down forward. Repeat after me. National Pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and very heritage. I shall always strive to be and worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and be driven with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Jai Hind. Now, to add a new word to our word bank, I invite Shiva. Today's word of the day is tranquility. The meaning of tranquility is the state of being calm or quiet. The French equivalent for tranquility is tranquillité. The German equivalent for the word tranquility is Ruhe. Good and inspiring thought can spice a party. So I call Jivan for the thought of the day. Good morning to you all. Today's thought for the day is if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. So friends, let's not get depressed and be governed by our past. Nor shall we be anxious about the future. Rather, let's learn to live in peace and enjoy the present. I wish you all peace and happiness in your life. Thank you and have a great day. Updating ourselves is good and never ending habit. So I would like to call Sansia for today's news. Good morning to all. Today's news headlines. Doctors in Karnataka call of strike after government agrees to their demands. National news. Over 96,000 cases registered in 24 hours. Tally crosses 52 lakh marks. Sport news. Premier League 2020. Tencent Sports to broadcast Premier League live matches in China. International news. UN agencies say international transport and supply chains key to COVID-19 recovery. Thank you. Now, I invite Jeff for the student speech. Good morning to our respected CEO, respected principal, teachers and all my dear friends. A very warm morning to all of you. Today we are celebrating the International Day of Peace. It is quite important for us as we need peace in our life. And now I would like to share a few thoughts about this topic. In 1982, United Nations took the initiative to celebrate September 21 as International Day of Peace. Since then, the day is celebrated as a symbolic gesture to remind the society about strengthening the ideals of peace both within and among all nations and people. As we already witnessed World War I and World War II, we realized that we can use nuclear gear to annihilate humanity. So, people should try to prevent wars. Now, I will share some good tips to become peaceful with one another. Enjoy every movement of our lives and take the best of today. Never try to forecast and plan your future as you may miss the present. But it does not mean you should not work hard to make the world around better because there is nothing impossible and we can achieve the peace. No matter how you or the official English dictionary defines the word peace, we all understand the importance of this quality. People alone are guilty of these things to happen. What we can do is strive to treat each other with love and respect. Live in peace with the rest of the community, guarantee justice for all and prevent any types of conflicts. And I shall end off the speech by saying that let us strive to be peaceful with one another. Thank you. You never find peace of mind until you listen to your heart. Here is a melodious peace song from Tanya. <laughs>
begins with a smile. Welcome to Mini Talks. As you are aware, today is the International Peace Day. A person's mind, soul and body is supposed to be the home of peace. Today's our special guest is Lina, a famous social worker engaged in the development activities in the suburban areas and villages of Kerala. She has taken out some precious time for us to share her experience with us. First of all, a very hearty welcome to the show, madam. How does it feel like joining with us on the show on this auspicious occasion? Thanks a lot for this opportunity, Elena. I'm really very happy to be here today to share some of my personal experience in the area of social work with our audience today. You may please proceed. Ma'am, based on your vast experience as a social worker, could you please share with us the importance of peace in one's life? Peace is as important as other fundamental needs of man. Like food, clothing and shelter, peace is also a fundamental need. When we are at peace with ourselves, everything will be in the right place. Unfortunately, we all are facing lots of challenges, especially because of this corona attack, like stress, poor self-esteem, negativity, sudden death, or loss of job, depression, a lot more. And we have very less time for well-being and peace. But for all these problems, there is only one solution, I think, in a peace. I think you're absolutely true, ma'am. Most of us haven't realized that real peace and happiness resides deep within us. Ma'am, may I know who was your inspiration to keep you so cool and still lead a peaceful life? Oh, absolutely, without any doubts, I must say it was Saint Mother Teresa. Had she been there, not there, at least half of India, must have become worse than Uganda or Ethiopia. Through her selfless and compassionate work, she has literally 
literally transformed the face of thousands of suffering human beings and thus she became an inspiration for millions ma'am as a central question or rather a request could you please share with us few tips that would have keep one peaceful oh tips for peaceful life yes i know a new gen would like to get everything in tips and capsules well i can perhaps mention some major areas where one can focus and think of attaining a higher level of peace shall i definitely ma'am please go ahead well the first thing i would like to mention is acknowledge yourself accept yourself each of us have our strengths and weaknesses many times i have seen people struggling to accept their shortcomings but we shouldn't allow a weakness to govern us rather we should transform those weakness into strength slowly you will remain peaceful this is point number 1 point number 2 concentrate on one thing at a time of course we all are living in the multitasking era it may be rather difficult to take up only one single task at a time but getting involved in too many things will only invite stress and anxiety so it is better to focus on a single goal at a time definitely your level of satisfaction and the experience of peace would be much high thirdly uh, don't run after perfection perfection is important but if you turn to be so intolerant about imperfection it can only help to spoil your peace a child might fall on the ground while learning to walk but if the mother gets too upset about it she is not normal she is rather abnormal remember nothing in the world is worth your peace of mind not even perfection so put in 100% effort for achieving your goal and then peacefully wait for the results coming to point number 4 we must learn to meditate well it is the best source of obtaining inner peace it is the art of letting go things and situations practice pranayama take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly go on focusing for a few minutes on the incoming and outgoing breath soon you will start realizing what is inner peace and tranquility and perhaps the fifth and the last point is look at the bigger picture what do you mean by that ma'am well it is a matter of setting priorities i must say because we are too much into short term goals often we lose the bigger picture i mean the ultimate aim of our life whatever we we do must be always in view of our ultimate aim in life enjoy peace and happiness so ma'am i think i shall not take too much of your time now we have come to an end of today's show as to wind up this program can we have a final message from you for all our viewers well the tips i mentioned earlier is the message perhaps there are they are the best means to find a lasting solution to all the problems of life similarly we can en- engage in some useful hobbies to keep ourselves occupied motivated and energized as far as possible try to be home at home be safe happy and cheerful always with everyone real peace and tranquility will always be there i wish everyone peace and happiness in abundance thank you so much Music can bring us pleasure and release all our sufferings. Music can calm us down and pump us up. So now I invite Aparna and Aishwarya for a group song.
reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. Now, I invite Anne for the book review. Good morning, respected CEO, dear principal, respected teachers, parents, and my fellow students. My name is Anne, and I will be talking to you about a book called The Diary of a Young Girl. Does the name ring a bell? Yes, it is the Anne Frank's diary. The tale follows Anne Frank, a 13-year-old Jewish girl who had been locked in a small vicinity against her will in an attempt to escape the looming gloom of the Nazis. The book isn't even a novel at all. In fact, it's a diary, a personal memoir relished dearly to be kept away from keen eyes. Yet, the words are so profound in our hearts, although they were written by a 13-year-old girl held captive by the world back then, you still relate to her struggles, and she was very articulate with her words. She managed to describe the surroundings, the struggles, and the members, and other vast things very deeply. I personally found the book a bit tedious, but considering it's a diary, I don't think I'm in the right place to say that. However, it felt like opening a mini time capsule. The feelings and secrets of a 13-year-old girl in 1941 were all kept covertly hidden in a minuscule book, waiting to be found. Even at her age, she was powerful. She knew her place and she was truly born to be a writer. This book ties perfectly into today's theme of world peace. Eloquently written, the diary encaptures the feelings of the youth of the time and their yearning for a day where they can all live happily together. Anne Frank details of a life where she, along with her family, can have fun together without being prosecuted for being born into a religion, something which they have no control over. If Anne was alive today, surely she could have been a famous author and definitely a world peace activist. She had so much emotional maturity at age 13. Maybe the world just wasn't ready for her yet. Nevertheless, I highly recommend you to read it. It's marvelous and it's a must read for all children. A diary is perfect for kids around the globe. For me to put it into words, only those older children can truly criticize and understand its full potential. It's something given to us to prevent these tragic events from happening again, to further world peace. It also gives you insight into the Holocaust and other World War II events, so we, it would be a great learning aid to boost your understanding of it. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. International peace is made a reality when every individual, family, community and nation is able to live in perfect harmony with one's own self and with each other. Today, when we celebrate this day of peace, we shall think of as many ways as possible to improve peace and harmony in and around us, especially in our family, in our neighborhood, in our school, and in our country at large. So here are our students of Rajas International out on a peace parade. Representing the whole school community, they are taking a solemn promise to transform themselves into living channels of peace and harmony. Let us stand up in silence and join this peace rally. We shall be more concerned about animals, birds and plants. I am ready to share my time and talent with all who need my help. I shall love everyone in my school and in my family. I am ready to serve fellow beings with all my strength. I shall try to understand and appreciate everyone. I shall not fight or quarrel with anyone in my family. I shall be honest and impartial in my words and actions. I shall strive to work excellence. I shall unconditionally forgive everyone who offends me. I shall plant more trees and nurture them. I shall be obedient to my parents, teachers and elders. I pledge to love nature and preserve it. I shall cooperate with everyone in my family and in the school. A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light way for others. So now I invite Matthew Piamsa for the teacher's talk. Respected CEO, Respected Principal, Teachers and my dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you. I can see all of you sitting in front of me today and I want to speak 
looking at your beautiful smiling face and first of all i wish you the peace joy and happiness of this beautiful day international day of peace and let me first pick up the word of the day given by our student shiva i hope you remember it it is tranquility tranquility means a situation or a state of our mind which is devoid of all disturbance and filled with the real peace and joy and happiness i think this is what all of us are wanting every day in fact the whole world is wanting this kind of an experience the world is craving for that and i also appreciate the songs the beautiful songs sung by our students especially abarna and uh, aishwarya also that song that famous song that prayer song of our great saint francis assisi make me a channel of our peace make me a channel of your peace i think this is one of the most touching prayers the world has ever heard of and i wish to thank tanya thomas for bringing back that beautiful prayer to us so i take this opportunity to thank each and every student who participated in today's assembly i congratulate our student elena and lena moy for that inspiring interview i also congratulate all the junior students who participated in that beautiful peace parade i think it was really an impressive program that they gave us i'm sure it will instill the spirit of unity cooperation and happiness in their lives and the great realization at the end of the day is that it is only through prayer that we can attain real peace again i refer back to the interview where lena mol mentioned that we have to practice pranayama meditation and prayer through personal prayer one can really think of experiencing real peace so i would request all of you to join me a few seconds in a short prayer please close your eyes heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful day when we are celebrating international peace thank you for all the inspiring thoughts that you gave us today instill in us lord the spirit of joy and happiness enable us to understand and cooperate with each other take away from each of us everything that spoils the spirit of cooperation and unity and peace lord fill our hearts with your holy spirit so that we all will remain united as one community and one body where we all can experience your peace your bliss your tranquility now always and forever thank you and have a wonderful day the best leaders not only inspire us but develop and empower us with passion now i call upon our beloved principal to share his thoughts about this day i have respected the ceo teachers and loving children today we are thinking about peace everyone yearns for peace what is peace it doesn't require any definition every one of us experiences peace in our life though 
it does not stay with us always many are complaining that they do not have peace in their life many people are frantically searching for peace some others are so hopeful some day there will be an incarnation that will bring peace in truth it is hidden in us when we are in concurrence with ourselves and others we experience peace otherwise it will remain a mirage peace will make us happy and healthy let us try to practice a few things in our life first let us think empathetically if we are able to be in other shoes if we are able to see the other side of everything we will be able to avoid a great deal of conflicts if there is no conflict there is peace secondly believe in live and let live this is peaceful coexistence it will open the doors of our mind and we will become broad minded this will enable us to tolerate others don't ever construct a citadel around us let us learn to be inclusive stop reacting reacting will cause agitation try to respond then be in communion with god in your golden silent moments we can see drastic changes in our life thank you Thank you.